book of Isaiah 62, verse 7. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. First and foremost, we give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Rakathu Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rekakodash. We give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives, week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men, as well as Shalom to the one third, the hopeful elect of men, women, and children. Forever, all the praises is given to Yahweh and his beloved son, Yahweh Shai. Amen. So be true. So be true. My name is Brother Ahab. And I would like to speak on we are at the end. We are at the end. I just saw something on the news. U.S. pledges protection for Israel against Iran threat. Prophecies are kicking off. And we need for this to happen. So if World War Three, it started already, but if it's getting closer by the day, how close is the RFID chip? Because everything has to be done in order. World War Three will not happen before the implementation of the RFID chip, the C-HIP, the mark of the beast, that will not happen. So if we've seen these things now, that means we are closer. And once that RFID chip is being mandatory, implemented, it's going to move very fast. So I'm going to name this, we need the new beginning in effect we need the new beginning because what we are after that new heaven that new kingdom that new rulership which dwelleth righteousness we want to live in righteousness we hate this place every second we hate this place the only thing is keeping us going is doing the work of the Lord, praising his holy name and his son. This is what's keeping us going. And praying at the same time that the Lord has mercy upon us. Mercy. We are in that straight gate. A time of difficulty, a time of Jacob's trouble. But everything is for an appointed time. The Lord does things in perfection. So we pray, Lord, we need this new beginning. In effect, as, as soon as possible. Okay? Right? Second Peter three verse twelve. Second Peter three verse twelve, looking for the hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What is this? This is when. Yahushai returns. This is when World War III kicks off at the same time. 
We are begging, we are looking for the hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord. To other people, might they think that we're crazy. But we need this to come. Because the Lord's going to protect us. The Lord is going to guide us through. But that long suffering, that waiting, it hurts. It hurts. But we cannot force the hand of our Heavenly Father. It's a scripture paraphrasing. We cannot force the hand. We cannot, we cannot make it go even faster. But the only thing we can do is to pray. Lord, please, please, Baba Kusha, move faster. As the first scripture I brought up, give him no rest. Give the Lord no rest. You don't think the Lord knows our pain? You don't think the Lord knows our suffering? He knows. Looking for the haste and we're looking forward for this time. But we have to wait according to his, his word. All right? We're going to the Apocrypha now. Second Ezra 2 verse 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for few days unto you. That they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. That's comforting. So even living in this state, this condition, this hell, right? And that even shows that it is not such a thing as hell because we know we are living in this condition, this pain, this suffering. We know there's going to be a new kingdom to come which is already being prepared for the elect. For the elect. Second Ezra 2 verse 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for few days unto you. Give the Lord no rest. Give Yahweh Basham Yahushai no rest that they may be shortened. And the Lord says, you know, that He has to shorten the days because if He doesn't shorten the days, there will be no flesh to be saved. But we have to wait on the Heavenly Father, wait. The kingdom is already prepared for you. So that shows you that that cuts the hell doctrine. These so-called Christians talk about you burning and burning forever. Where's where's the righteousness in that? For eternity. Because that new kingdom is being prepared. The kingdom is already prepared. Oh, it's already prepared for you. And this is how we're living now. We're living in that hope. We're living in that's what's keeping us going daily. We're feeling the pain, man. It hurts. It hurts. But, you know, we deserve it because we went off. So we have to wait on our Heavenly Father. The same way how Yahweh Shai waited on us, we went off every day. Even right now we are counting as filthy rags. Because sometimes we don't even know when it's going off. We don't know. And the Lord has been long suffering. This is why it's a blessing. We thank the Lord that he has woken us up. But anyway, it doesn't finish there. You see, you just see in the news, growing Iran threat. The time is drawing near. Yahweh is about to come back. Every every second seems like an hour. Although it's tarrying, every second seems like an hour. Right? Imagine the kingdom is already prepared for you. How, how sweet is that to, to feel? That pain. It says, watch. Keep on watching. 
Matthew 24, verse 48 to 51, right? And you know, the Lord has created the righteous and he's created the wicked, the unrighteous. Because you have people here on this earth, they delay the Lord's coming. Not in my lifetime. Yeah? Oh, I've been hearing, they've been mocking. Oh, I've been hearing this from, from day one. Since I was a child, I've been hearing my grandparents saying this. And nothing is happening. It is happening because we're using the measuring stick, which is the prophecies. The prophecies. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, which is his mind, love, my Lord delay of his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, right? So you're putting, that servant is wicked, he's putting his people, he's just discouraging them, he's putting them back to sleep. If, we, if they had woken up or what, he's just putting them to sleep. Or even going to a, a deeper state of darkness. Because he's wicked. He was created to be wicked. And to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord that of, the, the Lord of that servant huh, shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. This is why it says you have to watch. Watch as well as pray. Listen to our apostles. Watch their videos. Watch the elder bishops' videos. Watch the elders' videos. Watch the news. Pray fast. Be brotherly. Okay? And in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And this is going to happen if you don't turn to the Lord and to walk in his, in, in his footsteps. You know, follow the ways of the Lord. Yahweh Sham Yahushai. Okay? That's why we want to receive that crown. When the Lord's going to crown you, he says, well done, my humble servant. Oh, that is being humble. But you're going to have the wicked, evil servant. Oh, yeah. You see, it's not new under the sun, you know. Tell, oh, not in my lifetime. <laughs> not, not it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, we've been hearing this over and over again. I'm going to bring out a scripture now for that. Yeah? We're going to go to the book of Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel, 12 verse 21. And the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashamsha, came to me saying, Son of man, what is this proverb that you people have about the land of Israel, which says the days are prolonged and every vision fails? Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, all power, I will lay this proverb to rest and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say to them, the days are at hand. We are even we are living in the last of the last days. The days are at hand, right? And a wicked uh, and, a, and a righteous servant, what is it? He's going to feed the flock, warn the people, wake up, wake up, the time is at hand. But you're going to have people eating and drinking. Ah, yeah, we're hearing this, but, you know, not in my lifetime. Not in my lifetime. Thus saith the Lord our power, I will lay this proverb to rest, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say to them, the days are at hand, and the fulfillment of every vision. Who? Every vision is yet for appointed time. For no more shall they be any false visions or flattering divinations within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I speak, and which the word which I speak will come to pass. It will come. It will no more be postponed. 
So what it is, it's been tarrying, but it's going to be a time that tarrying is going to come to a stop. It's not going to be postponed anymore. For in, the, in your days, O rebellious house, I would say the word and perform it, save, says the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahusha, our power. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, again you know, son of man, look at the house of Israel saying, the vision that he sees is for many days from now. The prophecy, <laughs> and he prophesies, he prophesies of times far off. Therefore say to them, Thus saith the Lord our power, none of my words will be postponed. Right, And this is what it is. A wicked, evil servant. They're going to say, oh, you know, yeah, we see things happening, but come on, not in my lifetime. Right? It's a muck. You're mocking the messengers. And again, the word of the Lord our power came to me saying, Son of man, look for the house. Look, the house of Israel is saying, the vision that he sees is for many days from now. And the prophecies of times are far off. Therefore say to them, Thus saith the Lord our power, none of my words will be postponed any more, but the word which I speak will be done, says the Lord Yahweh Shamisha. It's going to come to pass. And what it is, we are looking according to the scriptures. We're going according to the, 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 the information, right? The war is about to happen soon. War is coming. Matthew 6 verse 22 to 23. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, right? You have to be focused on Yahweh Shom Yahushai. You have to be focused on the prophecies, right? You have to be focused on the word of the Lord and believe in him and trust in him and wait on them. Thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Right? And that is that wicked, evil servant. Telling people, oh, yeah, 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 it'll happen, but, you know, just this, you know, you, you, you'll die. You'll die and you might not see it. But that wicked servant doesn't even believe in reincarnation. Okay? If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? So we have to work, we have to live according to the light. Right? And that light is Yahweh Shai. He's a true light. He's keeping us illuminated. He's keeping us going. This place that we live in is nothing but gross darkness, but you're living, you are, the light is within you. And that is what's keeping us going because of hope, of faith, trust in the Lord, trust in our Heavenly Father. The light of your body is the eye. If there be thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. We have to focus, we have to meditate daily on Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Daily. Psalm 70, verse 1. The chief, the, the, to the chief position, a psalm of David, to the bring in, to bring to remembrance. Listen, make haste, O Lord, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, Lord. Wow, that prayer alone, Lord, Lord, make haste. Listen, make haste, O Lord, Yahweh Basham Hashai, to deliver. Yahweh Hashai Hamashak, He the deliverer, He saves. 
Deliver me, make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Esau Edom, right? Well, see the news, Biden backs Israel. Well, wow, threat from Tehran, Iran condemned Israel for attack on consulate in Syria. Man, this prophecy, these, the Bible is so, wow. And these newscasters, they're just reading it like if it's nothing. Let them be ashamed and, and confounded that seek after my soul. That's what Esau Eden wants. They want to seek after our soul. They want to have full control. Right? <clears throat> Let them be turned backward and put to, sh to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, aha, aha. Verse 4, Psalm 70 verse 4. Let all those that seek thee Rejoice and be glad in thee and let such as love thy salvation say continually let the Lord our power be magnified. That's why we have to magnify those names. Yahweh Shem Yashai. We have to magnify those names. And, then, and, though, and those names are being given here to us now. Yes, right here on this earth. Because when Yahweh Shai returns, right, the same way he ascended, Right? He's going to descend. And you have to know the names it to call upon him. Lord have mercy upon me. Lord have mercy. Because what? It has to be magnified. Read it again. Let all these that seek thee rejoice. We seek Yahweh Basham Yoshai and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation. We want to see the salvation. How long, Lord? Say continually. Say continually. What does that remind you of? Give him no rest. We have to keep on going and going, begging our Heavenly Father, right? Lord, I hope and pray that I'm making myself right in your eyes that when you come, right, I'm worthy of salvation. Continually, let the Lord our power be magnified. Let the Lord's be the Lord our power. The names of the Lord be magnified. This is this verse now, Psalm Psalm seventy verse five. But I am poor and needy. Wow, wow. And the heading of this, we need the new beginning in effect. We need it in effect. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O Lord our power. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Who, who is a deliverer? Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. O Lord, Yahweh, make no tarrying. Make no tarrying, dear Lord. Let's go to that word tarrying. Let's go to that word tarrying. Make no tarrying. Strong's H309. Aher. Aher. Tarry. Differ. Slack. Continue. Delay. Hinder. Stayed there. Sit up late. To delay. Hesitate. Tarry. Differ, remain behind. We don't, we don't want that. We want the Lord to make haste of his return, right? To delay, tarry, intensive, to cause one to delay, hinder, keep back, to the delay, wait, stay behind, put not in hope. Wow, but not in hope. Wow. 
listen. I be behind by indication to procrastinate, continue, defer, delay, hinder, be late, slack, stay there, tarry longer. Procrastinate. It's like you're putting off, you're putting off, you're putting off. This is why the scriptures, this is why the Lord is so merciful. The Lord knows why he's tarrying. Because he's so merciful. He's given us a chance to make ourselves right. He's given a chance of people to turn to the Lord. He says that I'm not going to return until everyone has heard. So all of we begging our Heavenly Father, please, Baba Gosha, please make haste to return. The Lord knows what he's doing in perfection. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, our Heavenly Father. Make no tarry. Turn to the Lord now. And, the, and the, 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 the quicker the Lord comes, we get rid of these wicked people because they're delaying the Lord's coming. They're delaying the Lord's coming when we want the Lord to come back, as in tomorrow, tonight. And we know we just said it as a saying. But we have to follow order. We have to follow the order. So get ready to look up. Look up. Keep on looking up. And continue to, to feel the pain. Feel the pain. Every brother is going through their individual pain. They're, going, they're carrying their own cross. Yeah? Much is given. Much is required. Much is given. Much is required. How long, Lord? So I just hope and pray that this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Rakotha Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakakwadash. And we give double honors to our beloved teachers of, of Great Millstone. All right? Just keep on praying. Keep on praying. And give him, Isaiah 62 verse 7, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Oh, we wait for that new kingdom to come. We wait for that new kingdom to come. And it's going to be no turning back. This is why we pray that we make it the first time around. We pray. That's why we have to fear our Heavenly Father. It says, many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Make no tarry to turn to the Heavenly Father. All right? Do not delay. Do not procrastinate. Do not be wicked telling people, oh, it's not coming yet. Not in this lifetime. All the praises are given to Yahweh by Sham Yahushai, Rakatha Yahweh by Sham Yahushai, by Sham Rakakwadash. Keep on praying for one another. Keep on comforting one another. When our apostles do their epistles, they are comforting us. When the elder bishops do their epistles, they are comforting us. When our elders do videos, they are comforting us. Comfort one another with these words. Right? That pain doesn't feel good. That pain does not feel good. It feels grievous. All right? And the Lord knows what we're feeling. So we pray for a, a few days. Keep on praying for a few days. Shalom.